Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Today is the Read for Scripture for Wednesday, January 19th, 2022, and yes, I have been diagnosed with the COVID as of today. God is my healer. I got my life is in his hand. So we're reading Matthew, the 25th chapter, verses 37 through 46 and 26 forward. It's a labor of love. I continue to read because that's what the Lord told me to do. So until I can't read no more, I'm going to be reading. Praise God, regardless how challenging it may be. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God. And it reads, Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hungred, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when we, when saw we thee sick? Or in prison, and came unto thee. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he say unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye curse it, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was a hungered, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in, and ye clothed me not, sick, and in prison, and ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hungered, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. And it came to pass, when Jesus had finished all these sayings, he said unto his disciples, Ye know that after two days is the feast of the Passover, and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. Then assembled together the chief priests and the scribes and the elders of the people unto the palace of the high priest, who was called Caiaphas, and consulted that they might take Jesus by subtility, and kill him. But they said, Not on the feast day, lest there be an uproar among the people. Now when Jesus was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman, having an alabaster box of very precious ointment, and poured it on his head as he said it beat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? But this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. And when Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this, that this woman hath done, be told for a memorial for her. Then one of the twelve called Judas the Sicariot went unto the chief priests and said unto them, What will ye give me, and I will deliver him unto you? And they covenanted with him for thirty pieces of silver. And from that time he sought opportunity to betray him. Now the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to such a man, and say unto him, The master saith, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them, and they made ready the Passover. Now when the evening was come, he sat down with the twelve, and as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. And they were exceeding sorrowful, and began every one of them to say unto him, Lord, is it I? And he answered and said, He that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him, but woe unto the man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been better for, it had been Good for that man if he had not been born. Then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, 
Is it I? He said unto him, Thou hast said. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and brake it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat this as my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my body of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Then said Jesus unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Peter answered and said unto him, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, That this night before the cock crow thou shalt deny me thrice. Peter said unto him, Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. Likewise also said all the disciples. Then cometh Jesus with them into a place called Gethsemane, and said unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then saith he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here with me. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep. And saith unto Peter, What? Could ye not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. For the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And he went away again the second time and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if this cup may not pass away from me except I drink it, thy will be done. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he lifted them and went away again. And he left them and went away again, and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then cometh he to his disciples and saith unto them, Sleep on now and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, and me, the reader of this precious and the sacred word of God. It's a little challenging to read. I'm all congested, but it's okay. <sighs> uh, thank you for being a part of the Smurf Club. For your continued donation of twenty dollars to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson, dollar sign Mama Pam twenty three. Any contribution that you would like to give at this time would be greatly appreciated as the husband's been off work and so the resources are kinda slim. So if you want to donate, I would appreciate it. Um we do normally broadcast across all these platforms live Monday through Friday, Pacific Standard Time, noon and seven PM. But as you can see, we've been off for a while dealing with this virus. We are Smurf, Smurf International Ministry, 7-Minute Read Family, 7-Minute Read Followers, just 7-Minute Read Faithful Folk. I am Minister Mama Pam. Again, these are the various places that your donation would be greatly appreciated at this time. Until the next read, you pray for me. I love you. God bless. <laughs>